Good morning. So welcome to this fifth video of a series of videos I've been making on individual modules of the YouTube data tools. In the description, there is a link to the YouTube data tools and a link to a playlist that contains all the other videos I've made so far, including one that provides an overview of the tools in general. Um, today, I'm going to be looking at the video commenting network, which is a new module um, that, yeah, I think we'll have all to, you know, explore a little bit more uh, in order to see what can really be done with it within the context of specific uh, research projects, research questions. Um, but it is a module that basically tries to connect videos based on co-commenting. So let's say we have two videos and um, there is the same user that commented on both of them. Um, they receive a connection. And basically the more users co-comment onto videos, um, the stronger the connection. So there's this concept of connection weight in um, network analysis, and that is being applied here. Um, so this could be, for example, uh, something that allows us to study yeah, how uh, users react, at least to a certain degree and, and relatively schematically, to um, a particular subject, right? So let's try this out a little bit. I'm just gonna uh, walk you real quick through the parameters uh, that I think are very basic. And then I'm gonna open a file and uh, try and see um, um, what we can do with it in uh, Gephi network analysis uh, software. So this module, video commenting not, uh, module, in terms of parameters looks actually quite similar to some of the others we've already looked at, right? So you can start from a search query, um, query parameter. I've already talked about uh, uh, relevance language and, and region code parameters that don't do all that much, at least compared to the, the actual language of the query. Um, how many videos to uh, search for? One iteration gets you one research, results page. Uh, up to 50 results. So if you put 10 iterations there, it, it's going to search up to 500 videos. Um, YouTube's ranking. I've also talked about that in, in other videos. I think the most important point here is that relevance is indeed kind of the default uh, that you see in, in YouTube search and it throw, throws a bit of a wider uh, semantic net. We can also limit that to videos published in a particular time frame. Um, but this may also be interesting to use uh, uh, with seeds as inputs. So a number of video IDs separated by uh, commas that could come, you know, for example, from some other data set that links a lot to YouTube, or one could use also the video IDs from a, from a channel um, here. And maybe I'm actually going to just add uh, another option to yeah, start with a a channel ID, um, but those are basically videos that you've already uh, collected in one way or another. And then there is this option here, which, yeah, kind of, I mean, depending on what you're looking at, may really slow down things uh, quite a bit. It determines how many um, comments to take into account, right? So in some cases, there may be millions of comments on a uh, on a video, um, and and that's that's just with the kind of resources we have, it's not possible to um, to make available. So um, I decided to basically limit this to a thousand uh, top comments, right? So it's uh, YouTube's uh, comment ranking that is being taken into account here. So you know when making findings, um, remember that. Um, but I'm just gonna run this for the query uh, Ukraine. Why not? Um, leave it on 100 here. I'm not a robot. Uh, let's run this. And you can see it's still relatively quickly because it's 100 comments. So it's not that much. But of course, if you add, you know, a lot of uh, videos and move up to a 1000 
then it's going to be significantly slower depending on how many comments these videos actually have. So if they're fewer than a thousand, then well, yeah. So this module generates two files. It generates um, the video network, which is basically every node is a video and, you know, number of connections um, are, you know, based on this co-commenting. And then based on that, it also extracts a channel network where you can basically, the basic principle is, um, let's say there are three videos um, uh, um, or three connections between between videos uh, of uh, of two different channels, um, then those are going to be uh, counted uh, uh, cumulatively and are going to be used uh, in an, in a network projection where basically every node is a uh, channel. So it's the same data, just projected a little bit differently. Um, but I'm not, not going to go into detail of the uh, channel network, um, but let's look at that related video network. So I'm going to download this here. I'm going to move over to Gephi. Open the file. I think it's called, yeah, VideoNet. Here it is. Um, and this indeed is again an undirected graph, right? So there's no real direction. Just if two users, they comment, uh, sorry, one user comments on two different videos, um, what would be direction here? So let's just leave it on uh, undirected. You can see it's 50 nodes, right? So it, it, it found um, 50, 50 videos. Um, and indeed 175 edges. So there's actually quite a bit of co-commenting going on. And we can see here that some of these connections are thicker and that really indicates this, ah, okay. So there were, there were more than one user um, co-commenting co between, between the respective videos. One point maybe that's important is the, the channel owner is not being taken into account uh, here because I think this would really generate then uh, a lot of connections uh, between the same uh, videos from the same channel uh, potentially. I think that's in any case going to be the case, um, but I think the, the video owner yeah, is, is, uh, is not so interesting for this kind of analysis. So let's quickly jump into the data laboratory. So here you have the actual videos. So that was already interesting, like what was what was being found. And if I order that, for example, by channel, I can see, yeah, uh, there are indeed um, videos uh, from, uh, for example, here, it's one channel that has um, about 10 videos. Um, yeah. And interesting, we can also here look at the edges, sort them by weight. So you can see there's actually quite a number of these connections here. Um, that uh, that are you know more than ten, um, and that's only uh, the last uh, or the top hundred comments. So there's quite a lot of co-commenting going on, and and so it, it it I think really allows us to look a bit um, more across videos, uh, something that used to be possible with the related uh, videos module, but that unfortunately had to had to go. Um, Right, let's uh, let's analyze this a little bit more. I'm gonna just um, sort the videos by maybe view count, um, or not sort, but uh, resize the nodes, min size five, max size twenty five. It's it's my go-to number. Um, you can already see here. Huh? That's probably the most viewed video, and that's not connected. So you can see um, there are going to be quite a number of videos that are not uh, connected. So that means there were no users that co-commented between this and any of the other videos. Um, I'm gonna show you then how to make sure that those things here kind of remain a little bit connected. Um, color, I think here is interesting, the channel title particularly. So here we have Denis Davidov in, 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 in uh, what's that, purple. Uh, military TV, you know, those are the channels we've already seen. Um, and yeah, you can also already see that, okay, that channel, uh, Denis Davidov, um, has a lot of co-commenting going on. We can already see that just by looking at the, at the color here. Um, so as always, I'm going to uh, introduce some layout here. 
and I use the force atlas 2 algorithm just gonna run it you can already see well a lot of that stuff here these individual channels they kind of fly away and in the middle there is this kind of um, connected component with uh, what looks like a pretty strong uh, cluster here um, connected to these other videos I think reporting from Ukraine is the channel name this dark gray so let's space this out a little bit um, <clears throat> how we're gonna do that let's try prevent overlap yeah I think we can space it out a little bit more make it just a little bit bigger but what I also want to do now is I, I actually want those things those satellites here to be a bit closer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around here with the scaling and the gravity components here those variables I'm gonna scale a bit more even uh, stuff's gonna even fly further away but now I'm gonna add some gravity how much I'm gonna add I'm just gonna try out 50 ah, and you can see stuff is coming back so that's a nice way to make sure that everything here is on screen and you can see there are actually some other kind of connected components um, but this is already I think uh, quite interesting so we could look at oh, what I clicked here I added the labels on this um, dark T but they are much too big so I'm gonna make them smaller yeah I mean it's still like not you know, very dense here um, but here there really seems to be quite some debate going on so um, this module does not make the usernames available I think this is something to take into account I think from a privacy perspective that that would really go a little bit too far um, but you can of course kind of you know do these comparisons manually if you if you think that is uh, uh, warranted um, to make things more readable I could use the label adjust algorithm here yeah and you can see I can you know um, read read those um, read those um, uh, names but I think what's particularly interesting is indeed that this is not just one channel where I think in my test so far I've seen quite a bit of co-commenting um, but there are it spans at least two channels um, so I think this is an interesting way of thinking maybe more proactively about connections between channels so one could for example not use the search um, endpoint as an entry point but uh, take for example I don't know you know the last 10 20 30 videos of a number of channels and see how co uh, users form communities or maybe just debates across these um, uh, channels so yeah it's it's a bit of a new uh, module and, and so we still I think have to learn what's um, what's going on here but I think you can already see how at least you can open these files and uh, start an analysis so that's already it for this video take care and have a nice day